NASA's Mars rover Perseverance has uncovered rocks in a dry river channel that may hold potential signs of ancient microscopic life. This was reported by scientists last Wednesday, but they stress that the samples need to be analyzed, ideally in labs on Earth, before reaching any conclusions. A team of researchers from the University of Winnipeg's geography faculty helped in this research. Joining us now is Ed Clutis, a U of Winnipeg professor and the director of the planetar uh, Planetary Spectro photometer facility that's a quite a title good morning ed thanks for joining us good morning and uh, thanks for having me on well tell us about the planetary spectro photometer facility what is it exactly and how do you say it right first of all and what do you do there Okay, well, we can uh, ignore the Planetary Spectrophotometer Facility. Uh, we've got a new acronym. It's called C-TAPE, which stands for something. But uh, anyways, it's um, it's a lab that we've developed here at University of Winnipeg over the last couple of decades. And it's really to support uh, planetary exploration missions, including the uh, Perseverance rover on Mars. So how did you get involved with analyzing the rocks on uh, Mars? I've been a member of the Perseverance Science Teams oh, no. since the beginning. So we're talking. Um, yeah, so I've been involved since the early days, and uh, you know, part of that involvement in you know includes looking at uh, new data that we get down from the rover. Okay, so we're looking at images right now of what looks like a riverbed. I'm assuming. What mm -hmm. is it from these images that is significant and tells you that there could have been life on Mars? The uh, there's a there's a few things. So you're right that it does look like a riverbed, and we've pretty much confirmed that. So that tells us that we had running water on Mars, which is one of those essential things for life. Uh, the sun can provide an energy source. And what we have found with our exploration of that area is that some of the rocks there uh, contain minerals and elements that are essential for life. So in that particular area, we've discovered uh, carbon, which is again, an essential uh, component for life. So there's a lot of signs that indicate that, you know, even if life wasn't there, it was at least habitable. Okay, so we, we know more research needs to happen here on Earth, is that right? Yeah, that's correct. We've looked at this area with uh, all the instruments that we have on the Perseverance rover, and it's um, the results are intriguing, let's say. They're consistent with life having been present on Mars in this area at some time in the past. So if it is proven to be indeed signs of life at one point on Mars, what does this mean for the future development or potential development of Mars? Well, there might be uh, debates about, uh, so, so our thinking right now is that, you know, Mars is not a very habitable environment right now, but it was much more Earth-like in the past. And so where we are with the rover, this is an area of about three and a half billion years old. And we know that on Earth, we did have life on the surface of the Earth at that same time. And so the conditions three and a half billion years ago between Mars and Earth were much more similar than they are now. And so the suggestion is that there could have been life there, uh, but it's probably long dead. Okay, well, we're gonna learn a lot more as time goes on, I'm sure. And Ed, hopefully we'll have you back to explain it all to us. Thank you so much for this and congratulations on the research. Thank you.